So you are welcome to the house of Dr. Du Bois. This is where he lived. And this is a building which was given to him by the first president of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. So this is, very, uh, this is like a Pan-African home and a Pan-African area. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So you're going to walk me around here now. Take a view from that. Upper bedroom. Upper bedroom. So, what room are we in now? Okay, so we are here in the bedroom of Dr. Du Bois. This is where he died. He died right in this room on the 27th of August, 1963. Okay. Yes. So, when he came to Ghana, he didn't come alone. He came with a second wife called Shelley Graham Du Bois. Shelley was even this house longer than Dr. Du Bois. She lived up to the year 1966 after the death of Dr. Du Bois in the year 1963. Dr. Du Bois came to Ghana in the year 1961 when he was 93 years old and he died at the age of 95 in the year 1963. So he was first married to Nina Goma Du Bois where they had two kids, a boy and a girl. The boy was called Junior Beggart. He died 18 months after birth. And the girl, the second girl was, the second was a girl who died at the age of 60 years due to heart attack. She was called Yolande Du Bois. In this room, here is a robe given to Dr. Du Bois by the University of Ghana Legon, an honorary of letters. And here is also he, a robe given to him by Harvard. He was the first black man to attain PhD in Harvard University in 1896 in history and in government. And this is how what we see here. So he being a black man fighting for the black people, the black community. Some way, somehow, his visas and papers were seized by the Americans for whatever he was doing for the black community. So later, he gained a temporary visa where he ended up in China. China because of his accomplishment towards the world. So he ended up in China in 1959 where he was celebrated on his 91st birthday. And on that day, he was given gifts by the Chinese people. The first gift was that his birthday anytime celebrated was a holiday in China. So that was his first gift. The second gift is this two scrolls we see right here. These two scrolls are citations which applaud and are applauding and praising Dr. Du Bois for who he is, his kind gesture, and his contribution to the world at large. And that's his last message to the world. This is the third gift. Yes, this is the okay. third gift given to Dr. Du Bois. This embroidery yeah. we see here is an embroidery which is depicting who Du Bois is to the Chinese people. So they are saying that he's an old man by the white hair, a man of leadership by the staff, a man of peace by the beard, a man of charity by the seeds, and a man of wisdom by the two schools. So we have the meaning right here. And also this was his traveling bag. This is one of the many boxes he used to do his travels. And also in here are letters and journals written by Dr. Du Bois, some in his own handwriting, some in French, and some in English. And also in this glass is the main reason why Dr. Du Bois came to Ghana. Right. So he was here to edit all 54 countries in 10 to 20 volumes. But due to his age and the time frame, he just ended up with eight. We ended up with, uh, with eight countries in three volumes. So we have in the middle here, volume one, he spoke about Ghana and Ethiopia. Volume two right here, he spoke about Sierra Leone and Zaire. And volume three, he spoke about South Africa, the Soto, Botswana, and Swaziland. So these are the eight countries he completed in three volumes in the space of two years and in his 90s. Okay. Yeah. So this is the walk-in closet? Yes, this was okay. his walk-in closet with the original tiles he used whilst he was in this house. And then this is the bathroom yeah, here. Yeah, this is the bathroom okay. here. So taking a look at his sunken bathtub, it tells how strong he was in his 90s. I see, yeah, because that's quite house. low, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is his walking stick here. Office of the second wife of Dr. Du Bois, and that's a picture of her. 
Shelly yeah. Graham Du Bois, and on our left is the first wife, Nina Goma Du Bois. The first wife, they were married for 54 years, she died in 1950, and the second wife married a second wife in 1951. I see. Yeah, they all happened to be students of Dr. Du Bois. The first wife was a student of the University of uh, Wilberforce College, and also the second was. So, only a year apart? Yeah, only mm. a year. No yes. comment. Yeah. <laughs> The second wife was also a student from the University of Massachusetts. Okay. So because it's a woman's office, this room is dedicated to women. That is why we have pictures of women all over the world with their write-ups beneath them. What's the significance of yes, the colors Yes, so that's here? the Pan-African flag designed by Marcus Garvey, telling the liberation and freedom of Africa. So the red symbolizes blood, the black symbolizes the people, and the green symbolizes the vegetation and wealth of Africa. So when you take a look at most of the national flags of Africa, some African countries, you at least see one of these colors in their flag. I say. Yeah. And this radio we have here is one of the radios Dr. Du Bois used while he was in this house. And this is the, doc the doctorate degree of the second wife, Shelley. Okay. And the items we see here are souvenirs given to her by some of the schools and conferences she attended. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Is the radio room? Yeah. Which room is this? So we are in the office and library of Dr. Du Bois. Okay. This is where he always used to come and read and write. So when he came to Ghana, he came along with 1,500 books. And we have all 1,500 books oh, right wow. here in this room. These books were his internet. These are books that mm. uh, were his uh, books of choice that he used to edit the encyclopedia book. Still fairly in good condition. Yes. Okay. Well, you've got the low light. You haven't got um, exactly. the line yeah. coming in where it would destroy the, yeah. um, and also the pages. He himself, his total works and publications summed up to 1,975. Right. Yes. And out of that total number, there's a few of his collections we have here. Okay. So the red books up there he titled In Battle for Peace. This was a book he wrote when he was 83 years old. And there were books he also gave out to visitors anytime they paid him a visit. So you visit the boys and don't go back the same you definitely go with the book. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Is it the same book? Yes, yeah, same book, yes. It's the same book. In this house. This is the, the original furniture. Yeah, one of the original yeah. furniture he used while he was in this house. So his name W E B is William Edward Beghart Du Bois. Okay. Beghart. Beghart. Yes. Beghart. Yeah. Right here is the dining area of the Du Bois. This is where they used to dine as a family. And any behind these walls was the kitchen. So any time food was served, food was always served through this hole. Oh, okay. Right to this yeah. area. Right. Yes. So that's mm -hmm. a picture of Malcolm X with a second wife, Shelley. Malcolm X came to Ghana in the year 1964 to see him come on how best they can build the African Union. So later on, he passed by this house to visit Shelley. And this picture was taken right outside the compound. Okay. That's Dr. Du Bois when he was celebrating his 95th anniversary. Wow. So this is Still the, look good, though. the Egyptian wife of. I'm in Koma, the boys himself, the yeah. second wife, Shelly, and that is in Koma himself. Okay. That's a daughter of Dr. Du Bois from the first wife, Nina Goma Du Bois. She was called Yolande Du Bois. Right. And also, this is Dr. Du Bois when he was being honored by the University of Ghana Legon in honor of letters from the role we saw in his bedroom. Okay. And that's our very own Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. Right. And this is also Dr. Du Bois when he was, uh, upon his arrival to Ghana, yeah. So that's him when he was 93 years old, the second one. I see. Okay. This wood we have here is the original kitchen cabinet of Dr. Du Bois. Oh, wow. And the doors we see here are original doors. The doors we Still see holding right strong. Yeah. And the space we have here is the living room of the Du Bois. Right. The space right here is the living room. All right, so in this room is the, used to be the guest room of Dr. Du Bois. This is where he used to uh, receive his guests. But it's now converted to a public library where it's open to everybody to come to do all kinds of research and writings. So in this room, we have over 3,500 books. Wow. Yes. And we have some books here. So you've added books to the collection? Yeah. So on the table, we have some books for kids, the activity books for kids to help them know their African leaders and freedom fighters. Yes, so this book is purchasable online by a website we have here. So 
if you want to purchase this any of these books for your kids an activity book for just specifically for kids okay and on the table we have some soil samples these are soil samples dr du bois came along with when he was coming to ghana so this is a soil sample from his home site great barrington where he was born and bred yeah. and there's also a soil sample from the grave site of his family the grave site of his family he brought this soil sample that anytime he missed his home and his family he used a soil sample and soil samples to console himself right yeah All right, so you are welcome to the seminar room of the Du Bois. This room is divided into two parts. On the stage, I give it to some civil rights and Pan African leaders. Okay. And on the side and side of the walls, I give it to some ex president and ex prime ministers of Africa. Okay. Yes. So these leaders here are representing all 54 countries and 54 leaders of Africa because it is believed that they fought, they sacrificed their life their time, their food, uh, their wives, their kids, and their families for the current peace of Africa, which is enjoying now. In their time, Africa wasn't a peaceful place to live because there was so much coal, there was so much rivalries and colonization with slavery and all that, which was not making the continent very peaceful and comfortable to stay. But they placed their life on the line and filled, stood in the gap and did everything they could to, for us to have a better continent, Africa. So do you think it's more unified now? Um, it's 50 50, I'll say. Right, yes, it's 50 50. So I know there's still issues, so yeah, still that's issues. the reason why I yeah. asked. Yeah, so amongst all these men we have here, we have the only woman standing, she's called Selif Ellen Johnson from Liberia. Selif Ellen Johnson, she is the, oh, the first African lady to lead an African nation, specifically Liberia. Okay, the first female African president. And she ruled Liberia from 2006 to 2018. And she came right after the Liberian War. Yes. We also have Muammar Gaddafi, one of the brightest minds of Africa. Yeah, I saw that. Yes, from like from uh, Libya. Okay. From Libya. And also, this is Patrice Emily Lubumba. He died at the age of 35 years, all because he was fighting for Pan Africanism and freedom. He freedom. died quite young. Yeah, freedom in, in Congo. Congo used to be called Zaire. Right. Yes, so he, died. he was killed by a firing squad, and later his body was placed in an acid. So his tooth was discovered just last 2020. It was just with his tooth. Yeah. It was discovered last 2020 and was delivered back to his family. Yeah, so that was in January 1961 when right. he was killed. And that's our very own first president, Kwame Nkrumah, the one who gained freedom for Ghana and of Africa. In the, in the year 1957, on the 6th of March. Okay. And that is Benjamin Namdi Izikiwe from uh, Nigeria. He was the first president of Nigeria. During this inauguration, is where Dr. Du Bois met Kwame Nkrumah and came about with the encyclopedia. That was way back in the year 1960, and Dr. Du Bois came to Ghana in the year 1961. Okay. Samora Moses from Mozambique. He was a president by then. And he was killed in a plane crash, and up to now, nobody knows what happened to the plane that caused it to crash. We also have here yeah, Ahmed Sekuture. Sekuture from Guinea. He was the one who hosted Kwame Kuma when the uh, when he was uh, when he had a coup. When the coup was planned against him, he was in China. Yeah. When the coup was planned against him, so he ran he ran to Guinea, and he became a co-president in Guinea. So Sekuture hosted him and made him a co-president. Okay. Yeah. We also have here the longest reigning president of Ghana, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings. He ruled Ghana for 20 good years, 12 years of dictatorship, and 8 years of democratic rulership. He was a military man, so he became a civilian after 12 years of rulership, and he went to the normal years of uh, rulership, that's 4 years, and he was voted upon again the next 4 years. So that was from 1981. 2001. Okay. We also have here Emperor Haile Selassie. He was the first president to address the League of Nations. And also, Ethiopia was the only country which was not colonized by any states. So, because this home is a Pan African home, that is why our windows are covered in all red, black, and green, which is the Pan African colors. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That's a picture of. Oh, the when boys. Was, yeah. When yes. He was when he was four years old, and also there's a picture of him 
That's him right here with his mates from high school. All right, so you're welcome to the final resting place of Dr. Du Bois. Oh. This is where he is currently buried when he died on the 27th of, on the 27th of August, 1963. He was given a state burial on the walls, or the pictures on the walls are, are the state, pictures of the state burial which was given to him. The second wife, Shelley, when she, she, she fled out of Ghana in 1966, she traveled to a few countries like Germany, Russia, Along the line, she began suffering from breast cancer. Oh, okay. So she went to China for treatment. Her treatment wasn't successful, so she passed on in China oh. in the year 1977. And she was buried out there, or was she... Yeah, so her body yeah. was cremated in ashes and brought down here. Okay. She's right in this box next oh. to the husband. And also Dr. Du Bois attended Fisk University for his master's degree. He went to Harvard for his PhD. He taught in Howard. He taught in Clark, Atlanta. And his wife, second wife, went to Oberlin University. Okay. Yeah. In this picture, Dr. Du Bois with Kwame Nkrumah. And this is also Kwame Nkrumah with Haley Selassie. Okay. So thank you very much. Yes. This thank is really educational and it's yes. good to hear about the history of Ghana. So yes. I appreciate your I appreciate you know, help you with um, walking yes. me around the museum. Thank yes. you. Don't forget to hit that like button, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.